uh, another edition of Marquee TV, and we're tasting uh, a couple of Rhone wines. It's like in, it's February. It's about uh, a week before the Olympics. So go Canada. Uh, I won't be here for the Olympics because I'll be uh, uh, in Montpellier at Vigny Sud sourcing out new wines. But we've got a special guest with us here, a friend of mine by the name of Mark Shipway. And Mark Shipway is the head of the department, head instructor at the Culinary in uh, the International Culinary School. International Culinary School and teaches the WSEP program. And before we go on to tasting, maybe Mark wants to explain what he does. Um, I actually am the department head at the International Culinary School for the Wine and Spirit Education Trust program, um, which is the pretty much considered to be the, the world leaders on gold standard in certified wine education. Yeah, there's over the last, I guess, five to eight, maybe ten years, there's more and more younger people, and I classify younger anyway. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> no, anyone under my age, 50. So, but there's, there, there's, there's guys and gals, uh, 25, 26, who re want to get in business and want to learn about wine. And Mark is one of the, one of the guys, one of the people that are helping these, this young generation. When I was uh, learning about wine, it was more just drinking the stuff, uh -huh. going yeah. and reading it yourself, and then going to traveling the pla to the places. So it's a real breath of fresh air. You have these, these, these great, great people that come out with this great body of knowledge right from the get-go. And it certainly helps our industry, it helps restaurants, and helps the hotel industry. It's certainly a booming, uh, a booming it's great. market right now. Yeah, sector for sure. it's great. Yeah. But let's get on to tasting. We're tasting Orator St. Martin from the village of Canaan in the Rhone Valley. Um, Everybody knows Resto, everybody knows Vinsor, Shatnuf is a, is a village. Karen is, is one of the top, I think Resto and Karen are the two top villages. I would say so, yeah. The Allery's, I was doing a little bit of research, Allery's been farming this land since 1692. 300 wow. years, 10 generations. Wow. So I think they have a, yes. and it was uh, an Allery who started it. So it's been in the family for 10 generations. Wow, so that's incredible. if you think they don't know the vineyards, <laughs> they know the vineyards. So we're going to be tasting. Maybe you want to zoom in. This is the white. Got it already. Um, it's Cote de Rhone white. Quite frankly, Thank you, John. more reminiscent with a mini Chateauneuf to pop white from what I haven't had this wine for a while. So let's taste it. Mm. Color, what do you think? A little bit of all. Yeah, it's, uh, it, has a, it has some deep. Some, uh, definitely some deep hue to it. Very focused. Um, I always like using that word, but it's not massively effusive. It's very, very uh, closed, and, and as Clive Coates used to say, four square uh, on the on the nose. I think the thing that's interesting about these Rome whites is they, they do offer a lot of different um, aroma characteristics. Yep. The profile is, is quite um, unusual for white wines. Um, well, this is a blend of Marsan, Roussan, and, and yeah. Viognier, so it's got a little mineral. This is all, or, for decades, it's been all sustainably, organically farmed. Uh, they take care of the land. I mean, it's the only way you can do that if you're farming it for 300 years. But as you're starting to open up, there's almost a little it's oily. Yeah, you know, a little oily it? kind of nuts and hay. And I, quite, I, I, I yeah. like this. Now let's taste it, see what the... Floral tones as well, so... He's the pro. He's good. I don't spit. A little evolved on it again, on the palate, but still holding together really well. Yeah, it's got a nice freshness there still, which is, uh, which which counterpoints the weight and the richness yep. of this wine. Now this is not. Right, it's pretty. It's pretty rich. It's pretty rich. It's yeah. pretty intense. It's not your average Cote and It's probably two or three steps up, and the price reflects it at around thirty-one dollars or so. Uh, but. It's got that. What's that word? You know, you know that, that, that one of these kind of a marzipani notes. That's the, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. That, that's that nut for me. But uh, uh, real nutty so, notes too. So, foods. Oh wow, yeah. I mean, you, it doesn't have a lot of acidity, so you would 
you got to you got to look at things probably that that um, that don't have acidity in as their as their main mean? driver. Um, Cod. Yeah, and would have to be something fish wise. Um, yeah, halibut. Cod. Cod. Um, yeah, I would probably. And, and something fairly richly sourced as well. Absolutely, yeah, yeah classic, yeah. classic French cuisine. Would be a, would be a good. Uh, absolutely, perfect sauce. Uh, yeah, this is not your fresh toss seafood summer salad type of wine. No, totally I mean, not. Totally I not. would drink it, but if you really want it to go perfectly with it, you know, mm -hmm. th those are the types of food that uh, that you want. Anyway, let's go to. Yeah, I mean, you could probably even. You know, I actually think some some, uh, you know, poultry white meats. Yep. You know, pork even. Pork, yeah, yeah, but again, sauced. Yeah, sauced, yeah. Okay, let's go to the 05. I'm sorry, is it the 05? What's the vintage? 04, Cote de Rome. This is a blend. Now, the Syrah is a selection myself and Cote Roti, the Grenache and Mouved, and, and the Vaca, is it Vacaras? Uh, and Muscadin, um, our selection messels from originally from Chateauneuf. So it's got more. These wines aren't your normal Cote de Rhone. So you have far more power, far more depth in them. Do, so do we actually know what the grape variety uh, Syrah, is in here? 20% uh, Grenache, 60 Mouved, and 20 Syrah. It's so 60 so, Mouved, right? So, yep. So oh, wow. That's a uh, lot Mouved. You can smell it on the nose, though. Yeah, it's. Um, Pretty kind of leathery and it's got that, that tree bark, which yep. I was kind of associated with, with Mouvedra. Color's good. There's no sign, there's no sign, brick brick notes. I, can, I tell you, one of the greatest wines I've ever had was a 64 Rasto at Bressy mm -hmm. Messon at dinner one night. Wow, brilliant. Beautiful. But that's another, that's, that'll go on my blog, that'll be another story. I really like the evolved notes on this wine. It's, uh, I think 2004, from recent experiences, is definitely a vintage that is drinking really well now, and it's, yep. it's pretty much at one. Um, I think this can go a bunch more years, though. No, I mean, taste. but why would you want to keep it? No, you want to drink it. Well, that's yeah. why we're opening it today <laughs> for the customers to taste. Yeah. I mean, it's. Tans are nicely integrated. Lots of pepper to it. Mm. It's got some heat and some some, some some spicy heat. Not alcohol, but some spi good spiciness to it. When you get a good Cote de Rhone, mm. I'm telling you, you find someone that has vineyards just outside of the mm. 1920s, or sort of 30s Appalachian rules, that should have been like Clos de Caillou, that should have been Chateauneuf de Pat, mm. but is classified as Cote de Rhone. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're not like some of the the other Cote de Rhone's you get sub twenty. This is this is because Cote de Rhone's a huge appellation. Um, this is this is this has got breed. This has got class. No, um, he's got a lot of that uh, kind of chestnut or gamey, slightly meaty characteristics that you, that you can find in Northern Rhone um, wines, typically. Syrah. Yeah, it's it's selection Syrah. Marcel from Coroti, right? It's, it's, it's the Syrah for sure, showing three of it. Yeah, that's why I like having English guys here. They have a better command of language. <laughs> but one minute. Well, listen. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, was it, we got one no, minute. One minute. Oh, wow. Well, we only do ten, right? That's for YouTube. We better make use of that. We bet. We better. <laughs> Any other things? So, I if you're, I think it's absolutely delicious. Two thousand and four had some great freshness, some great acidic freshness. So it's 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 beautifully alive in the glass, and uh, I think that is. That's drinking really nicely. That's good. So glad you like it. What's the price on that one? Uh, I think it's about thirty-three, thirty-five dollars. If you're interested in wine courses, this is the guy to call. Uh, you'll learn a lot. Website. You know, website. What's your website? Uh, website is um, winecollege.ca. Winecollege.ca. There you go. Cheers and go Canada. Go. Cheers, John. Cheers.